So Sarah, this is uh, where we do the uh, testing uh, on, the, on the buildings, testing the materials for their flammability. And how many of these samples would you test a week? Well, we've got about 100 waiting here. We typically would get about 100 samples a week um, from about 20, maybe 30 buildings. Okay. Uh, we've taken multiple points around the building to make sure it's uh, representative. And this is one of them? And this is one of them, uh, which has uh, different types of materials. Uh, they, they have foam materials, and they also have the materials that you would have seen, which are the aluminium clad mm -hmm. uh, panels, which come in, which have the combustible material between the aluminium. Some of this material uh, is highly flammable, as, as we'll see. So I'll just light up the gun. And oh, wow. you, you can see that. That's completely melted. Completely melted within seconds. And what's more, what's in there uh, is also flammable, all right? And produces, as you can see, uh, quite a bit of smoke. And that smoke is quite toxic. And that's found in buildings. And that's found in buildings. That's very commonly used in buildings. Okay. Uh, then there's this material here, which is the aluminium clad panels, and we look at combustibility. So assuming that a flame is actually impinged, the tip of the flame is, is, the, is the point that we use, and you'll see that as it starts to um, heat up, uh, the material inside there melts once it starts to burn. It starts to peel away. It'll start to peel away, and you can see that burning and, and dripping. dripping. <laughs> and you can smell it as well. And you can see the smoke. It uh, burns. If it's burnt in a vertical situation, it'll burn very rapidly. And that smell, Dr. Garnis, is the PE melting. Well, it's not not just the PE. Uh, usually, these are. Uh, if you like waste materials, waste plastics that are used, so there could be all sorts of other materials in there. So we don't actually know in some instances what is burning. That's right. Well, you can see the dripping there. It's, uh, it's dripping molten plastic. Um, so look out if you're underneath. Uh, it'd be totally deadly. You'd just be covered uh, very high degree burns and, uh, and potentially lethal. That's frightening. Yeah. So now just imagine the side of the building is burning. And now we're dripping this material down onto the fires, fire people or people trying to even exit the building. That's right, and that's really why we have to understand how this material behaves. And you can see it accelerating Look at it now. now. It's actually getting faster. It's now getting faster, that's, and that's what typically happens. That's turning into a much more ferocious yeah. fire and than when it started. And here it goes. Yeah. Wow. And, and look at that. Imagine you're standing under that. Oh my goodness, I can't. Yeah. I don't want to imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> that is frightening. Yeah. And it's okay. still alive as and it drips. And there's a lot of energy in that. And this is just one tiny little piece. And it can imagine a whole building, the side of a building, it'd just be a total inferno. Hello, I'm Sarah Arbo. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.